Now we're going to turn to our money watch where we're taking the temperature of the economy today and weather and labor issues are having an impact. Yeah, we're talking about the new October jobs report. CBS News business analyst Jill Schlesinger joins us live from New York now to discuss the latest numbers. Thank you so much for joining us. So what are the results? So the economy produced just 12,000 jobs, and the most important part factor behind that is that we had the Boeing strike and those two hurricanes, which probably changed these numbers quite a bit. So we don't know whether or not we have real weakness in the labor market. We'll have to wait and see. But two things to point out beyond those issues of the Boeing strike and the hurricanes, and that is that the two previous months were revised lower by a total of 112,000 jobs. And that's usually a signal that the labor market overall is slowing down. But the other part of it that's really interesting to me is that wages were up by 4% from a year ago, and that's well ahead of the uh, just south of 3% inflation rate. So when wages go up much faster than inflation, it means that workers are able to catch up to those high prices that are sort of the hangover from COVID. Any other circumstances that impacted the October numbers? I know there was just so much going on, as you just mentioned, especially with the weather. Yeah, I mean, it's really hard to say. It's very strange because the Labor Department is kind of saying, hey, you know what? We don't know how much these numbers are impacted by that. Another thing they pointed out was that, you know, the way the labor market tries to figure out whether uh, companies added or cut jobs is they call the companies themselves. But the Labor uh, Department said they got a very low response rate. So I feel like these are just weirdly distorted numbers. We'll know more in the coming months. You know, what we often will see is that one month can be an outlier. A couple of months later, you get a better idea of the trend. I think the big picture trend is that the labor market is slowing down. That's exactly what the Federal Reserve has wanted. They don't want a hot labor market because when it's too hot, wages pop really substantially and that contributes to the inflation problem. Mm. Jill, real quick, earlier this week, the government reported on growth for the third quarter. How did the economy do over the summer months? I mean, really well, 2.8% annualized pace in the third quarter. Consumers really stepped up their spending. I don't know whether they're gonna be able to continue doing that in the last quarter of the year. For the whole of 2024, the economy is expected to expand by about 25 to 2.7%. That's about what it started to look like when we were in the strength of the pre-COVID era. So what's interesting now is economists believe that we are now moving into more historically normal growth patterns for the U.S. All right, Jill Schlesinger, making it make sense for Always. all of us. Thank you so much. <laughs> we appreciate it. Sure.